Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except God gave me her, gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom, also to know whose gift she was. Yep. So the most, the most high got to give you this wisdom, man. Yep. If you don't, if you don't have, if you don't have the understanding, man. And you, you, you shit out of luck. You can, you can quote all the scriptures. You can call yourself of the tribe of Judah. You can say you this, you that. Come on the comment boards, talk all that shit. But if the Most High ain't dealing with you, man, you're not gonna get it. All right. John six and uh, sixty three. It is the spirit that quicken. Right. Uh, the flesh profit nothing. Right. The Most High put the spirit on you, man. And the spirit is put on you through through the word, man. That's why the scriptures say, um, what's that in uh, Baruch? They should remember remember themselves. Mm -hmm. Get that real quick. Because that's what's happening right now. And then we're going to get um, the valley of the dry bones. All right? I'm going to let them finish this. Words that, that I speak unto you, right. they are spirit. Spirit and they are light. Right. And the, and the scriptures also say, he that hath ears, let him hear. So you niggas coming up on the comment boards talking all that crap and being unreasonable, you know, you 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 guys you guys never exhort you, you never you wasted uh use your time in getting on what the white man is doing, man. All you worried about is what, what we're doing because we're rough, man. But what happened to our people is rough, man. Hold up. Get that sign right there, man. Look what happened to the Native American, man. But then the so-called Negroes in America complaining about, about us standing up for what happened to our people, man. They, they gave us smallpox. They raped, the, they raped our, our, our wives in front of us, man. That's what the white man did. The white man did that. That's right. That's All right? So you got your damn nerves telling us we, we overboard, man. This is the history of, of America right here, man. They came over here, slaughtered the Native Americans, took the land after the Native Americans helped them, man. And not to mention what happened to, uh, to the tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi. All right? So you got your damn nerves to say we overboard. No, no, what happened to us is overboard, man. That's why the Most High is coming back to destroy this place, man. That's right. right. Go That's ahead. Right. Yeah. But there are some of you that believe not. Right. There are some that don't believe, man. There's some that really don't understand how the Most High is dealing, man. And that it's going to come out rough when you're dealing with certain uh, groups of brothers or certain brothers, man. Go ahead. For so Yahweh Shah knew from the beginning right. who that were that believed right. not and who should betray them. Right. So the Most High chose you from the beginning, meaning that there are going to be people on the earth today that don't get it, man. And, the, and, it, was, and it happened in the beginning, man. And, and you came through your different carnations talking shit. Back then you was you was walking up, you was on stones, whatever you was doing. Now you on the internet. With a wave cap on talking shit at home, man. While we out here laboring for the nation of Israel to come back to their nationality. Man up. Stop following behind that damn woman. Go ahead. Uh, uh, John 7 and 18. He that speak of himself right. seek his own glory. Right. He that speak of himself speaketh, seeketh his own glory, man. But he that speak his glory that sent him, right. the same is true. Hey, all we doing is saying, when we say the white man is the devil, when we say that America is going to be destroyed and, and that they're going to be paid back for it, all we're doing is speaking what the scriptures say. I know that you may have heard it in your, in, in, in your churches. Uh, the, 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 that religious BS that you've been taught and it may not sound uh, familiar to you but the scriptures say these things that we're saying man and we can prove it and if you're a logical person and you're fair we'll deal with you all right go ahead and no unrighteousness is in him right no gal is found in their mouth so while the world is hating the true men of the Lord the Most High deems them uh, perfect man in his eyes all right First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 8 He therefore despises, despiseth not man right. but God Right, you despise the most high man Look man, the, mo the most high done various things in the scriptures that were rough man Look what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah Look what he did to uh, who came up against Moses, what was her name? Nathan Corey and Abiram Miriam Oh Miriam He made her leprous man Look what he did to the little kids that were talking about Elisha hairline. 
The brother was still texting me that one day. You know, the Jake don't like when you talk about their hairline, but they were talking about Alicia, and, and the Most High had them killed, man. Alicia didn't feel like playing, man. And the Most High had those kids destroyed by, by some she bears, man. Now you, you, that's rough, man. All we're doing is coming out here telling you what's gonna happen. But the Most High did it, and He's doing it. You know, so you, you, you don't despise uh, us. You despise the Most High, man. Because all we're doing is speaking His word. Now, if you, if you, if you are looking at our videos and you got a problem with our personality, that's your damn problem, man. There's certain brothers in the camps that bump head, but we still deal with each other. There's personality uh, clashes all the time. That's a part of life. But you deem us wicked because of our personality or how you perceive us, which nigga, you only see us four hours out of a, a, out of a week. We post video, you don't know us, man. Go ahead. Who has also given unto us his Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. That's why we're able to speak this word, man. All right. Group. Group 2 and 30. Right. For I knew that they would not hear me. Start up a bubble. Okay. 29. Start it. This is the spot. Uh, I'm sorry, 28. Group 2 and 28. As thou speak, spake by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law for the children of Israel, saying, If I, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude should be turned into a small uh, number right. among the nations. Right. Which and I and that's scared. what happened, you know? This dude, this clown that came up talking about the white man wrote the Bible, no, the Most High cursed our asses, man. He didn't write the Bible. <laughs> he didn't write the Bible, man. Because he would have let, he would have, he would have, it would have been in there, you, you should have a little boy and, and take him and ram your rod up, you know, because that's what the white man is into, man. He done, he done lied about everything else. Right. He done lied about everything else. Right. But the truth still coming out the Bible. The truth still all there. The, his, his destruction, all of the homosexuals, all that. All that still managed to be in there with the white man right. Hey, somebody Come give on, uh, Revelations 12 where it talks about that flood coming out of the surface mouth real quick. That's right. Nah. All right, go ahead. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hey, it's no, you don't even have to break that down. Yeah, read it. You got it? Go oh, ahead. Revelations 12 and 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. Right. After the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the right. flood. So, so that, read it again. Revelations 12 and 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. After the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Right. It's in Isaiah. Right, so so the, the serpent, which is the so-called white man, he's the same serpent from the beginning, but now he's grown into a big dragon. He casts out of his mouth water as a flood so that he can drown the woman, which is Israel, according to Isaiah 6 and 2. Or is that Jeremiah 6 and 2? Jeremiah. Jeremiah 6 and 2. Go ahead. No. In the earth, help the woman. Right, so that's what's happening right now, man. We're being brought back to our nationality. We're being brought back to who we are as men. That's why we see, that's why we're rough, man, because the men of the old ancient world were rough men, man. They won't they weren't no soft, laffy taffy niggas like you see walking around the streets today, man. And as you see, only destruction can come from a man being like that, man. And, and, and that's why this society is where it's at, man. Because the, the, the men, mainly the men of these nations, they aren't, they, they're, they're uh, effeminized, man. They've took masculinity, masculinity out of the Bible, man. And they're teaching you to become a soft, spoken, soft bitch, man. We just say it like it is, man. Okay, go ahead. First Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteousness shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Right. Be not deceived. Right. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, right. nor adulterers, 
no effeminate. Which, you got these guys talking shit about us, man. You can do all type of videos, man, talking about the wickedness going on amongst Jake, man. Instead, you want to get on us, man. That shows us that you're not, you're not in the spirit at all, man. You waste your time on oh, a man cursing, <laughs> being rough. You know, all this other BS. But meanwhile, all this unrighteousness is going on. You need to be telling these people they're going to be destroyed. Go ahead. Uh, let's read this feminine part of that. Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. So this, this whole effeminate doctrine that the white man is pushing on our people, man. A man ain't supposed to be effeminate. A man is supposed to be manly. A man's supposed to grow his beard out. That's why the Most High gave you a beard. So he can differentiate you from a woman. Right. But this country promotes what? Shave your beard off. Clean shaven. Clean shaven. Right. Micah 3 and 8. But truly, I am full of power. Right. By the Spirit of the Lord. Right. By the Spirit of the Lord, man. We full of power, man. Y'all call us crazy. Well, hell, we crazy for the most high sake, man. Right. Go ahead. And of judgment. And right. of might. Right. To declare unto Jacob his transgression. Right, we out here to tell our people, you going to hell off, man. And if you don't return from that wickedness, you're going to be destroyed. I know you go to church and they tell you everything is all right. I know you go to church and they tell you that America's going to continue forever. Homosexuals and, and pedophiles are going to just rule the world forever and all of that stuff is okay. But no, man, there's a different message in the, in the, in the scripture. There's an end to all of this, man. Right. There's an end to the madness, man. There's a method to the madness. Yeah, the Lord said, Behold, I make all things new, right? Right. Uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me, right. and the prophet uh, and, and before thee of old, right. prophesied both against many countries right. and great kingdoms. Right. So the ancient prophets, you know, you got these people singing about they love the Lord, they love the Bible. But what did the ancient prophets do? First of all, they were menly, and they came and stood before their oppressors and told them, like Moses, let my people go. All of the prophets came to, to tell their people they were going off, man and speak against those nations that they were held captive under, man. Okay. But today, the, the, the message in your false religions is to join hand with your oppressor and enjoy your oppression. Because you got a car, you got a million dollar contract. Even when you broke, they tell you to be happy. Even when you got a foot up your ass, you're supposed to be happy. The scriptures say, oppression maketh the wise man mad. Right. So that's why you're not mad, because you ain't got no knowledge. You don't understand nothing. So you accept anything. And that's why they're able to get away with any type of behavior amongst you, man. And you not care, man. You got to be in the spirit of uh, a lot, man. What's going on around this world should, should vex you, man. The fact that the people who run this country pass laws that, that, that men could have sex with animals, the fact that that thought even came in their head should anger you, man. That's right. The fact that in New York, <laughs> right. in New York, they, they, uh, a, a judge ruled that city workers could have child porn on their computers, man. Come on, man. Yeah. I'm dancing. Yeah, because there were so many of them getting so caught. so many of them yep. getting caught that the judge was like, you know what? Child porn, that's, that's cool. Go ahead, you know, look it up, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and men in the military, they pass a law that you, you can have sex with an animal. So, so yeah, this this world is full of wickedness, man. <laughs> it's just beyond crazy, man. And you, and you don't want it. You don't want this to come to an end. And I'm sorry, you your your future is looking more and more like destruction. Now read, read that. You still you have some? Uh, I still got it. Isaiah 40 verse 3, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for right, we're, we're in the desert, man, because America is barren of truth. There's no truth uh, here in America, man. No water. Right. No water, man. And our people are thirsty for the truth, man. Yeah, this is the oasis right here. This is it. You know, when you, when you, when you, you know, they got the cartoons where they going in the desert, yeah. they finally come up on that oasis. This is the oasis, man. The, uh, the, the word of, the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, that's the oasis, man. Uh, 
come in and buy Jeremiah 50 instead of uh, Greek Hebrew. Verse 4. Why, every, why you pay money for that which isn't bread? Jeremiah 52. Isaiah. Yeah, who took my uh, Somebody come read for this, brother. He's losing his voice. Who took my concordance? Isaiah 52. No, no, I got it. He gave it to a car to look something up. No, not that. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight. Right, that's what's happening. So we know that the white man was able, was given power to do certain things, man. To 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 uh, to push forth his his lies and agenda. But the Most High is gonna make those crooked things straight. Straight. And the crooked shall be made straight. There you go. And the crooked shall be made straight. So, man, the white man has not figured out the blueprint to overcome in, 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 in what the Most High has put forth, man. Read that, read that, read that. Isaiah 55 and 1. Right. Every, oh, everyone that thirsteth come ye hey, to the our waters. People are thirsty. They don't know who they are, man. They're walking around America thinking they are African, thinking they're black, which is a color. Negro, you know, go ahead. And he that hath no money, come our ye. Our people don't have no money, man. Our people don't have no money, man. So we're not out here asking you uh, for offering time. We tie them amongst each other so that when we ever, when we go out somewhere or whatever we do, we're able to pay for it out of that account and we tie it to the elders. But we're not asking uh, you for money. When you go to that church, it's mandatory, man. But we will accept it. Yeah, go ahead. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah. Not even the churches, we, we don't, we're not, we don't got like an ATM set up right here. Hey, right. The churches, they actually Ask got ATMs inside. He's speaking right now. Right. They got ATMs on the, on the uh, plates. This brother got hold, a, hold everything y'all got. What's going on? I said, I got a question. Uh, how do you know who you are and who the God you is? The Most High just has to deal with you, and you have to, you have to have a preacher. Get a uh, Romans 10. Yeah. yeah. What's your nationality? What have you been? What are you? You know. No, that's a. That's a that's, see, but you know. That's, I know. It's okay. That's okay. It's okay. He just doesn't know. He just don't know. That's just a. That's a zodiac sign. He's Which, asking you what your nationality is. Race. What's race. your what's your race? Like, what, if if somebody asked you what nation you come from, what would you say? You call yourself an American? Would you black? A Negro? What would you call yourself? Okay, you're not a Negro. You're an Israelite. Negro comes from the Latin niger, which means black. Which means black. So color. Okay. Romans which is associated with death, right? Because right. because uh, uh, another form of, of the word Negro is the Greek word necro, which means death. Okay. Uh, Romans ten and thirteen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Most High shall be saved. Right. So, so the, first, like, you have to you have to be seeking for knowledge, man. You have to be seeking for understanding of who you are. Go ahead. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right. And how? So how, do, you, do you believe in the Bible, or what are you? What are your beliefs? But that's what it's saying. See, what it's saying is, but you haven't believed in the true God yet. You don't know yet. See, when, I, when you read up in this chapter. When you read up at the top of this chapter, in fact, read oh, yeah. read right up at the it. top of uh, that chapter. No, no, uh, Romans 10 and 1. Brother, my heart's desire and pray to the most of Israel is that they might be saved. Uh -huh. For I bear them a uh, record that they have a zeal the most high, right. but not according to knowledge. See, but it's not according to knowledge. So you say you believe in the Lord, but it's not according to knowledge yet. You see, it's, it's got to be broken down to you. Now, go jump back to where you were. Okay. Uh, Romans 10 and 14. How then should they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right. And how should they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Right. So you first you have to hear. You have to under, you have to know what the truth is, man. You have to you have to hear the, 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 the truth that the most high has set up on the earth. 
And this is going to tell you yep. from who. Yep, go ahead. And how should they hear without a preacher? Right. And how should they preach except they be sick? Right. Now, now, how do you know if they're sick? You have to align it up with what they're saying is if it's true in the scriptures, man. Now, we're out here saying a lot of things. If you have any questions, ask us to prove it. And we'll prove it without a doubt according to the Holy Scriptures. Now, do you go to church or anything like that? Good. 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 Don't go. Good. Well, you're in church right now. You know what the word church means? Nope. It's, it's the, it's the uh, Greek word ecclesia, which means to call out. All right. Which we've been called out of, of the... Of, of, uh, of this world okay see that's what you want you want to be called out of this world okay. right. basically yeah basically live the way you're supposed to live and don't worry about these people man you know like hey you see you over there you got a hustle you got the little hot dogs there hey there's nothing wrong with you having a, a, a hustle like that just now now that, but now that you're getting getting this word you better start using all beef man I better not see no Swine. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, brother. Okay. And how should they preach except See how you know Salaki, brother, I didn't mean to cut you off. How how you know you ask a very complex question. It's a simple question, but it's a complex question. How you know is a process. It ain't you ain't just gonna you ain't just gonna get it. It's a process. You learn milk and then you you build up from there. In fact, b before you finish that, get Isaiah. Um, yeah, 28. Um, yeah, 28 and 9. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom, and, and the he here is talking about the Most High. Who is he going to allow to get knowledge? Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? And, and see, because not only is it a process of getting knowledge, because knowledge is just information in your head. But you got to understand the information in your head. You can't just have information in your head. So he's giving a process here. You get knowledge, but then there's understanding. Okay, go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk. Those that are weaned from the milk. In other words, those that took the baby steps first to get to even read the Bible. Most of our people ain't even read the Bible. Most of people, most people come up to us, they see us, man, we go out somewhere, we may go to a bar or something, get us a drink or whatever. Are y'all Muslims? Yeah. Why you asking us we Muslims? Oh, y'all got those beards on your face. They don't even know that that's in the Bible. They tell you to do that. The Lord told us to do that. You see, we got these fringes on. The, the Bible tells you to do that. Okay, to remind us to keep the laws. One of the, um, and one of those, this, that law basically is to remind us to keep the laws. Okay. Go ahead. And draw from the breast, for precept must be upon precept. Hey, I a question, right? Now, the, the, the animal sacrifice was done away with, right? Isn't that in the law? Why was it done away with? Because the Lord died on the cross, right? In the kingdom, are we going to have to wear some type of clothing to remind us to keep the law? It's a trick question, <laughs> Hey, go ahead, brother. Isaiah 28 and 10. I mean, we're going to wear our apparel. We're going to wear our natural, you know, uh, you know, uh, Israelite garb. But if we, if we don't need these, we ain't gonna need these in the kingdom to remind us to keep the laws, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 10, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little. See, that's how you get it. It's not gonna be, you ain't gonna sit down one day, read the Bible and, you know, go from Genesis to Revelation and, oh, I got it, through osmosis, you know? No, it's here a little, there a little, here a little, there a little, line upon line, line upon line, precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Okay? Go ahead, bring it up. Zechariah 2 and 7, deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Yeah, so, so you have to come out the, you know, the mind frame mentality. of this world, yep. the mentality of this world, because this world is wicked, man. Yeah, get that in Isaiah, uh, remember yourselves, men. Okay, 
Okay, bring it up. This is uh, 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Yep. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right, so that so you got to, basically, man, you got to start, you know, babe, you got to start as a newborn baby, man. You got, you got it. Huh? Okay, go ahead. Man, it, it's again. We it, did. It take. It takes. Looking at. It takes man. being taught, man. Brother, did you see this congregation right here? It started with me and this brother, man. Yeah. And then this brother came along. And a, and a brother that's on the way, he came along. And then brothers came out here. They listened to what we were saying over time. And, and and the Lord opened their mind up and put the pieces together for them, right? Living water that flowed out of the bellies of our elders washed that filth away. That's right. It's possible because we, we were we were the worst of the worst, man. Hey, like Paul. The scriptures say Paul was in Acts, the apostle Paul was going about breathing out murders to the church. But the Lord com converted Paul on the road to Damascus, man. And he said, why are you persecuting me? It's hard for you to kick against the bricks. In other words, if you were destined from, first and foremost, you gotta be of the elect. If you were destined from the foundation, which means the chosen. So if you were destined from the foundation of the, of, of the earth to be among the elect, then the Lord gonna ask you that same question in, in, in whatever suits, whatever you got going on. He gonna ask you, uh, why do you persecute me? It's hard for you to uh, kick against the bricks. You know, like when I came in, <clears throat> even before I came into the truth, I, um, this was, I, shit, I guess when I was in my early 20s, um, you know, I was smoking squares, and you know what? I just quit, man. Something clicked in my mind to tell me to, to quit, so I just did it. Okay, so there's certain things that you're gonna have to work on, but then there's other things that you're just gonna have to learn to, to shed, shed, shed off from. You gotta become a new man. Okay, bring the scripture. This is Romans the eighth chapter, uh, verse ten. And if Christ be in you, but, but let me say this. First and foremost, you gotta come back to your nationality and know why we're even reading. Because see, if you're not an Israelite, this Bible don't even apply to you anyway. You know, you hear us mentioning certain other nations like the so-called white man and this, that, and the third. Nobody understands what we're saying. Because this don't apply to them. It applies to these people right here. That's who it applies to. That's why we're the people getting jacked up. Yep. That's, why, that's why we're the lowest of the low all over the world. Yep. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Um, so, oh, I'm sorry. So what you're saying, right? For the ones that do have a heart are the ones that's chosen. Yep. Yes. And that's something none of us can get around. Now, eventually, this whole nation is going to go into the kingdom. But there's going to be a, 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 a select group of men uh, chosen from the foundation of the earth that's going to make it into the kingdom. And then the rest of our nation is going to come through us uh, who are having babies. You know, everything that happened to us as far as slavery, the people on the sign, it's all recorded in here. Yeah, it's all prophecy. It's all in here. Even the very detailed um, act of uh, coming over in slave ships. Yeah, that's in the Bible. It's actually in the Bible in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Yep. Our forefathers prophesied, I mean, they spoke it before, and it actually played out on earth. Yep, that was prophesied in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28. Okay, bring it out. Uh, a group four and a, a set of four. Oh, Israel, happy are, are we, but then that are pleasing to the most high are made known unto us. We of good cheer, my people, uh, the memorial of Israel. He was sold to the nations, not for your destruction. See, we were sold to the nations, not for our destruction. Not, not, to, not to ultimately uh, be completely destroyed, you know, because he was always going to leave a remnant. Um, and hope, hey, hey, but I don't know, I'm not the most high. Hopefully you're up that remnant. But you gotta learn. You gotta be taught. Go ahead. But because you moved the most high to wrath. Because you moved the most high to wrath. How did we move the most high to wrath? We start breaking his laws, breaking his commandments. 
Mafia and it's still doing it to this day. Still doing it to this very day. You can, all you gotta do is go ahead on over there and cross Martin Luther King. <laughs> go cross Martin Luther King over there. And, and see what see what niggas is up to. That's proper son. They, they will be like robbed. He said he got robbed over there last week. Yeah. Yeah. Thieves Jake, they're thieves and murderers, man. That's why the Lord is destroying our people, man, because they ain't right. But even even a, a, a more a more uh, notorious crime that that our our people are doing is they're telling lies to. Them. That, that's doing more damage than than anything else, man. Flaying off the skin. They're flaying off the skin. They they saying Jesus is a white man. You know, they telling you you can eat anything you want. That's not what that's not what our power told us. You live any way you want. You can live any way you want. You can go around. You got certain men in the hood like they actually like to deal with a, a woman that has a man because they say there's no strings attached. Right. That's wicked, man. Terrible. That's pure wickedness, man. Then, um, then, then our mothers are going around teaching our daughters. Yeah, yeah date around. Go, yeah, that ain't that ain't the case, man. Sleep around. You ain't supposed to be sleeping around, man. Yeah, play the field. That's why our people are messing. Don't, those are just small, <laughs> small things. It goes even deeper, man. The more you get into it. All right, um, that was that was it on that, right? Okay, yeah. finish what you finish, finish what you had, and then give me that in Isaiah 46 and 8. Okay. Romans 8, 10. And then we'll, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap, we're going to wrap it up. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. See, the body is dead because of sin. Get Colossians. Yeah, 3 and 1. Yeah, sorry, 3 and 1. Read it again for the brother. Right. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit now, does is life. Does that mean we're physically dead? No, you, I'm talking to you. We're dead to this world. We're dead to the things that this world tells us to do. We're dead to the lies that, that so-called white men told us. We're dead to the um, uh, we're dead to the lies that the other nations told us, yep. and we're alive in this word. Okay, all right. So be dead, like we're dead. We're dead to the things that we used to like to. Right. Hey, Colossians. To do. I'm gonna explain it to you. Give me Colossians. Uh, right. So what happens if we give in to the flesh? That means we're not tired. Then the Lord gonna destroy you. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. Happen. Don't get. I was just about to say. No, no. Go ahead. You can explain. I it. mean, it's gonna happen, but it's all it's all about where your what your spirit leans towards. What, what, what type of person are you? Is that just who you are? Or are you fighting? Does it make you mad when you go off? Or is, is it just one of those things where it's like, I'm going to do it again, I'm going to do it again? Or are you fighting to actually kill that demon? No? And there's certain things that you that you put off in, in your flesh that you try to sneak back and go do it once in a while. Some of them things will get you killed too, man. That's right. True. So he bruised the tip Yeah, some of them things will get, get you killed. All right. Colossians. But it's a balance. I mean, because we're not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Brother, That's what I'm going to tell you something, man. I, uh, me, and this brother, me and this brother went to a, a fight, man. And, you know, I basically I went off, man. I had too much to drink. And I face planted, man. You know? <laughs> hey, I'm not afraid to admit uh, it. <laughs> we, we normal people. <laughs> hey, but, hey, but you know what? That's not something that, I, that I'll ever do again. Yeah, don't know. Lord willing. I ain't never seen that too. Yeah, Lord willing. Lord willing. You know? Go ahead. Right. So it's a process. That's what we're trying to say. It's a process. You know? Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. And if ye then be risen with Christ, uh -huh. seek those things which are above, which Christ seated on the right hand of God. Get Matthew, uh, whatever you want, go to what you get. And give me Matthew chapter 6. Go, go ahead, bro. Set your affection on things above, right. not on things on the earth. Set your affections on things above and not on things of the earth. Okay. This world is almost over with. Yep, go ahead. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in ye, God. Ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in 
of God, who, who his name is Yah, the, the Most High God's name is Yahweh Shai, and his son's name is, I'm, I'm sorry, the Most High's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. When Christ, who is your, our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Yep. See, yeah. then that's when we're going to get our heart's desire. It ain't going to be on this side. On this side, it's all about working hard, man, and suffering. Yeah. Going through tribulation, and then when the Lord brings us the kingdom, because because you in hell right now, man. You, you, you slaves, man. You can't get out of the, the tax, man, the IRS. Man, I just came from that place this morning, man. Stay after me. Shit, man. It's just shit. Yeah, you can't get out. You can't get out of that. And then you know, you may have a, a woman sit there and tell you, uh, her kid is yours. Uh, yeah. and, and then and they take that little child support out of your check, yep. and they ain't never even yeah, they ain't even never find out. Neo, Neo, they pro he proved that it wasn't his baby. He still got a paycheck. Yeah. But they said they said that six percent of women who get that test comes out that that baby ain't even a dude that test for the first time yeah. in a black community. I'm yeah. pretty sure in a Latino and they make Hey, well that's 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 a uh, parody in in Mari Povich, man. Oh, yeah, God. that parody was so big. The joy we have, give me, is the, no, no, that is the hope. Now give me, give me uh, Psalms chapter 73. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And listen real good. And see, you want to, one of the things to lift up your spirit, man, when you read the, when you read the Bible, man, read them Psalms, man. Okay. Yeah, brotherhood also. Our Talks forefathers about, was here going through yeah. the same thing. So brotherhood doing, also. Yeah. 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 No, oh, and the brotherhood, this brother made a good point yeah. of Salaki. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean it. The brotherhood as well, brother. We all we got, man. You see, we like a tight knit family, man. I mean, these Negroes get on my nerves sometimes, <laughs> and I'm, I get on their nerves sometimes. But we still a we still a family, man. We all we got, man. You know. Yep, and the Psalms that uh, King David talks about having enemies around him and conquering him and about. But he just pray to the Lord to get him through. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Pray to the Lord to get him, and that's what we pray for. You got it out. Um, don't read the whole thing. You gotta think about it. We don't deserve nothing. We're wicked. Yeah. We all out here deserve death. But the Most High has preserved our existence to keep fighting and to glorify Him and the Son. Yeah, man. You, you, you strive for perfection. Fight oh, I'm sorry. with that unction. I'm looking at the wrong. Yeah, there's something that's, <laughs> that's, like it says in the book of Isaiah, there's something that's tapping you. Saying, oh, this you is the way. That voice Do you hear that voice? This is the way that you should go. Because you fight to glorify uh, 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 oh, the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. Because the, the Son, He died and bled on the cross. For you. For, for, uh, for, for our the people. Effect, man. And ultimately, all of the nation of Israel. Ultimately, he did that for. But yep. on the first go round, it's going to be the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the men that stand stiffly for the word of the Most High. Now, listen real good to this, because you asked a good question. So we're going to try to we're going to try to uh, encourage you through the scriptures, bro. All right, Psalms chapter seventy-three, verse fifteen. If I say I will speak thus, behold. I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for now what, me. What um, I believe this is a psalm of Asaph. Yeah. Now what he's talking about is he looked out in the earth and he saw that the wicked prosper, man. They prosper, man. They they, 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 they never get in trouble for nothing. You know they you know. Hey man, we had brothers with certain situations like this brother with his baby. You know. They, they just wicked, man. And ain't nothing you need. You can't do nothing. Shit. And this brother, too. Shit. You know? Go ahead, brother. Hey, hey. Sorry. Oh, hold on one second. Let, let him read this, because I want you to I want you to hear this. Verse 17. Until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High. Until I went into the sanctuary. See, it was too painful for him previously when he's looking out in the world. Like, Damn, my people, you know, our women are hoes. Uh, uh, most most of our men are a bunch of uh, wimps and, and you know yeah, yeah. Oh, baby punks, boys. man, and baby boys and, and assholes, man. Hey, man, me and this brother we went to a bar, man. Huh? Yeah, but you know what? That, that, it's, that, it's not in the spirit of truth. Cause see, cause see, I'm gonna tell you something about those people that 
so-called make it in this society, man. First of all, they have to believe in, in a in, in a philosophy that has absolutely nothing to do with the scriptures. Yeah, they man, can't do what we're doing and, and get that far. Trust me. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Trust me. And you got people back here that we we could have been successful, man. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Then understood I therein. But see, that's what makes you come back to it. You understand the end of these people. Like, she talked about a, a businessman. Well, look at T.D. Jakes. He's a successful businessman, but he's wicked and he's a liar. He's wicked and he's a liar, man. All right? We've been asking that, that hippo to bring his wobbly ass down here for damn near five years, man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Surely thou didn't set them in slippery places. Thou casting See, them down. See, they slippery places. See, these preachers that tell you, give you that prosperity doctrine and all that, that's not what this is about. It tells you in Proverbs chapter 30, give me neither riches nor poverty, but give me the things that are convenient for me. That's synonymous with the Lord's prayer, where the Lord said, uh, give us give us this day our daily bread. That's all you need. You don't, and, 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 and the spirit of the Lord, that's, that's all you need. Paul said, I, I, I know how to be content. I, I know how to be both a base and a bound. And I'm content therewith with food and raiment. Hey, if I can, you know, if I can get a little meal, if I can put food on my back, I'm good to go, man. So you said we're supposed to be happy with just food. No, just, it's not. It's it's a it's a it's like a metaphor, daily basically. Bread, you know, basically, daily bread is enough to get you. Just to get you through this society, man. Now, if we get a million dollars, we ain't gonna turn it down, but we gonna distribute it amongst the brotherhood and do it the right way. And do it the right it ain't way. Ain't like we just go, if we get a, a million dollars. No, fuck. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid. We're not living for this kingdom. <laughs> We're living for the, for the Lord's kingdom. Yeah. That is set, that is set to come, man. This place is gonna be destroyed. Yeah, and, yeah. and his elect. There ain't no hope in this wicked society. Yeah, so two why men can get married. Why, why put your mind or set your mind to, to increase like that in this society? You should be setting your mind and aligning yourself with what the Lord wants, what the Most High wants. Man. Yep. That's what's going. That's why the scriptures in uh, I believe it's Matthew the fifth chapter, you, uh, or it might be the sixth chapter. That's why I told him to get stir up your church. Yeah, I told. Who did I tell to get Matthew six? Not on the earth, man. That's what you're talking about. Thanks. The things that are eternal are more precious than the things that are material. Exactly. Right. Now, now we, now the scripture does say using the world is not abusing the world. You ain't gonna go around walking naked. You know, so you gonna go to the store. You gonna go to work. You gonna go to work, you know. Like, uh, the Lord said, whose face is on this penny? Huh? Yeah, but you know what the Holy Ghost is? It's the word. That, that's, that's what the Holy Ghost is. The Holy Ghost is not some strange feeling that got big, 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 big we, okay, give me John chapter 15 so we can explain to them what the Holy Ghost is. It ain't some weird spirit that jumps on you that has old, uh, overweight black women with big 10 gallon hats running around in church, man. Yeah, that's not spirit that dwells in The Holy Spirit is talking about the word of the Most High. It's understanding the word of the Most High. Six and six. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, John. Give me John chapter 17 and nine. Yeah. Yeah. The words that I, the Lord said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. That's what the Holy Spirit is. The word holy okay. means, okay, okay bring John it. 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. Uh -huh. The words that I speak unto you. The spirit, the spirit quickeneth. The word, the word quickeneth means to make you alive. Okay, go ahead. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit they and they are, are life. And they are life. So word. it's the word. That's what the Holy Spirit is. It's not, you ain't going to get, ain't no, and, and, if, and if a spirit do jump inside of you and make you do that, it's, it's a demon. <laughs> now there is the comforter, but it's sent from the holy heavens to give you that understanding. Of but the, the comforter, the comforter is the Lord. It's the Lord, the Word. Yeah. Because, because he said he told. Well, go ahead, read it. Saint John fourteen and sixteen, and I will pray, and I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another comforter, uh -huh. that He may. Abide. Why did He say another comforter? Because while the Lord was on the earth, while the Lord was on the earth, they were comforted. 
It says, um, because they because they asked John the Baptist, they said, why do your disciples not fast and pray like John the, like John the Baptist's disciples, right? He said, as long as the bridegroom is here, they, they rejoice. So that's what it means, another cup, because he was going to go away uh, after being uh, um, crucified. Okay, go ahead. Right. And I will pray the Father, and he shall... Don't even worry, you married, brother. You got a man. Go to your man and talk to him. Yeah, don't even worry about that. Yeah, don't even worry about it, man. Yeah, don't don't let that affect you, man. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort. You, you we'll get to, we'll line the appropriate scriptures up uh, when that time comes. Okay? Right. That he may abide with Let's you get forever. Him on deck. <laughs> Go ahead. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Right. That's it's the spirit of truth. Now hold on, it said the spirit of truth, right? Give me give me give me John chapter who the world cannot receive. Now give me John chapter 17 and I believe 17. Oh yeah. John the world cannot receive. That world there is talking about those Israelites, because that word world there is the Greek word cosmos. When you read in Isaiah, it talks about Israel shall be saved, uh, a perpetual a saving world without end, right? That world is talking about the children of Israel. So the majority of our people cannot receive the spirit of truth. All right? We, okay. Go ahead. St. John chapter 17. Well, John tells you why. Because their deeds were evil. All right? Go ahead. St. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Uh -huh. Thy word is truth. So see how we linking it up? It says the spirit of truth. He says the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. And this says that the truth is the word. The words that he speaks. It all comes together. That's what the Holy Spirit is. Because the word holy means to be separated. Okay? Now when you're separate, if you're in the world and you're separated, what does that mean? Remember the question I asked you in the beginning? What his brother asked you? Do you go somewhere? go to church so basically going to church means you were made holy because because church the word church literally means to be called out okay uh now let's go back to um matthew we fellowshipping right now and then we're gonna go home and fellowship Oh, like like Dave Chappelle might even fight a nigga or two. <laughs> no, that's what this is fellowship right here. This is doing the work and then we're gonna go home and fellowship. We fellowship with each other. But fellowship don't have now now don't get me wrong, if you know if uh if a brother has a situation where they are getting enough times or whatever and they can get a building and uh you know meet up and, and at that building and, and and, and study and, and go through sermons. There's nothing wrong with that. But the scripture says that the Most High uh, doesn't dwell in temples made with hands. Right. We're, we're, you're looking at the temple. You're a temple. Now, whether you go, uh, the Lord is going to have mercy on you and bless you to become an undefiled temple, that's up to the Most High, man. You gotta get baptized, but you know how you get that's baptized? Me, you, well, you're right. You're right. That's 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 see that's the scariest part of this truth, but it's also the most it's actually the most invigorating part of this truth. Because hope hope is what drives us. Hope to be of the elect is what drives us. Okay, go ahead, brother. Romans 8 24. For we are saved by hope. Uh -huh. But hope that is seen is not hope. Right. For what a man seeth. Why doth he yet hope for? Right. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. And the things that we see not is the things that these preachers ain't teaching, which is the kingdom of the most high. Everybody talking about, if a preacher came up to you and said, hey, hey brother, you saved, you want to go to heaven? You know what you should ask that preacher? What is heaven? He gonna tell you something, he gonna tell you a whole bunch of nonsense, man. He's he gonna talk about the pearly gates and talk about playing harps on, on clouds and you know passing out. Yeah, telling fairy tales. Heaven is gonna happen here on earth when the Lord turns over the kingdom away from wicked people over to righteous people. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Likewise, 
the spirit also help with our infirmities. But See, the spirit is what does it. What's the spirit? We read it to you. It's the word. The Most High will drive that word up into you. That's why he told Ezekiel, he also told John in Revelation to eat the little book. Eat it. Okay? And you know what he said? He said it's going to be sweet in your mouth like honey. But when you swallow that thing on down, it's going to be bitter. Because you realize that we're, we're not in the kingdom of heaven right now once you... Hmm. See, that's what, these preach, that's what these preachers ain't teaching. Yeah, that's, that's okay? Matthew. Now let's go to Matthew 6. You want to start at 19? Um, just give me a good spot, you know, let's address, you know, what he's, uh, you know, what he was, what he was asking. You know? Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth. Right. Where moth and rust doth corrupt. Yep. Where thieves break through and steal. Didn't he just say he got robbed or something? Yep. Yep. <laughs> thieves will break in and take that. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but lay up your lay up yourselves treasures in heaven, uh -huh. where neither moth nor rust doth correct. How do you lay up treasures corrupt, in heaven? Like you lay up treasures in heaven by doing what we do, doing the work, teaching the word to our people, teaching our people who they are, uh, condemning this wicked kingdom, uh, condemning the wicked nations of this kingdom, telling the truth, basically telling the whole truth. That's how you store up and live in the whole truth. That's how you store up uh, uh, treasures in heaven, okay? And then eventually what happens, you, you'll get so into it that you want to follow the Lord so much that you, you turn into one of those men in Revelation that follow the Lamb with us however he goeth. Okay? Go ahead, bring it out. Luke 6 and 21. Blessed are ye that hunger yeah, now, he got you. <laughs> for ye shall be filled. Uh -huh. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Yep. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, yep. and when they shall separate you from their company, yep. and shall reproach hey, you. That's what all these people out here do. They hate us, man. And they separate themselves from our company because, because we're we telling them like it is, man. Yep. For their world. We're not for their world, and we're going to tell them what the Most High said, man. We ain't going to sit here and have no semantical battles with you, man. Oh, okay, let him finish. And cast your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Hmm. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. What type of reward is that? Floating around in clouds all day. What type of reward is that, man? I'd be mad as hell at the most high. I'd be, I'd be complaining in the spirit world. I said, this is what, this is what we signed up for, Lord. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you know, obviously I'm getting putting a little humor too. I wouldn't do that to the most high, but you know what I'm saying, like. That's not that's not no type of reward. Well, yeah, this is basically the white man's kingdom, and he get, he's enjoying the earth and wickedness. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna enjoy it in righteousness. Man. That's right. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Mm. Yep. Woe so a lot of them people that that quote unquote successful. First of all, a lot of them ain't really successful. Uh -oh. I mean, like, that, man, let me tell you something. You see what's going on over there in Cyprus and Greece and things like that with the monetary situation? That's going to happen here, man. Yep. Those those Federal Reserve notes ain't nothing but ones and zeros on a computer. Man. The dollar ain't right. worth. The dollar's not. The dollar's worth less than a penny, it's man. Worth nothing. It's yeah. worth less than a penny, man. The debt, the debt bubble, the debt bubble that's been building since the, the 1930s is destined to pop, man. That's right. And it happened over there in the eurozone, and it's been destined to come over here. That's why you're seeing a lot of these uh, uh these foreign nations starting to buck up against the U.S. dollar, like uh, Germany, Cyprus. China. You know, yeah, Cyprus India. Is the latest. They like, you know, the hell, the hell with that that debt currency, man. We're gonna trade. We're gonna trade with something that, that actually has value, man. Hey, you got middle class. You got middle class people in Spain. You got middle class people in Spain that actually wait till that, that actually. Uh, hey, man, go, go get your woman, man. Okay. What's wrong with y'all, man? What's wrong with y'all? Crazy. Man, what happened to Duke, man? Where's Duke? Yeah, I know. He don't like. 
picture you have. Alright, man, Shmi got to deal with dark. Alright. It says, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Yeah, so a lot of them people are rich. They're not even really rich. Oh, get James chapter 5. Get James. Yeah, go ahead and finish that up. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Yeah. Woe unto you that laugh now, yeah. for ye shall mourn and weep. That's it. Hey, the Lord, um, when the Lord was on the scene, the Pharisees got mad at him because he hung around with publicans and sinners, man. And he, he said the sick need a physician, man. So all you niggas that got some type of consolation in the world, what I need to go to you for? John the Baptist told them, who warned you of the, of the destruction of the cup, man? Get your ass out of here, man. All right, what you got out? It's like, it's like, the Lord likes you. It's like, to me, to me, it's like, when they say that it's like the Lord can have no home on this earth, he lives on this earth. No, 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 that's not true. I mean, the Lord was, he traveled to, to, to basically do the work. Yeah, it, it, it does say he, he, he didn't have a place to lay his head. The, the son of foxes have holes and, and all that, but the son of man have no place to lay his head. But you got to understand the context of what he's talking about. He, he didn't, he had no comfort in this life. You know, he always had a place to stay, man. He could stay at Peter's house. He could, uh, they had an upper room that they purchased for the Passover. So why did you be outside? Because he was doing the work. That, that was that was like, the work. Well, like in Hebrews, yeah. it say Moses instead of uh, enjoying the riches of Egypt, he uh, he chose to suffer chose to with suffer his people. With the, yep. Yep. Just yep. like us, we got places to stay, but we're not. We don't have comfort. There's no comfort, yeah. man. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Ecclesiastes uh, chapter yes. one verse eighteen. For in much wisdom is much grief. Right, that's that's pretty much what he meant. He had no place to lay his head. He he was constantly roaming the countryside countryside preaching man he hey hey even when he was 12 years old man when they went up to the passover he wandered off yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wandered off and went to the synagogue and was and was confounding those pharisees man uh -huh. go ahead and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow so you know the more that's why it tells you it's going to be bitter in your stomach because once you get a proper understanding of it you're going to be sorrowful especially when you look at your people and you you understand the, 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 the devastation that the Lord has put on us, man? Some people, God, is they have money and not a habit, but, but the people that actually realize that what you like, exactly what you just said, it's like, there's no habit. Yeah, because because we understand it, that it's, it's, it's fleeting, man. It, it's wicked and it's fleeting, man. You know? The scripture talks about uh, okay. filling up a bag of money with holes in it. Hey man, you, hey man, every time I get some money, man, man, I, it goes away like that, man. Yep. Car breakdown. <laughs> oh man. Random, random bill comes out. Of yeah, nowhere, a random, man. a random bill come floating in your in your in your mailbox, man. You know, hey, go, go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Psalms 37 and 16. A little, that, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. That's right. For the oh man, uh, he, say, went, he went, and got dressed up, man. Yeah, Where's yeah. he going, man? Yeah, like he in the town tonight. Yeah. He in the town tonight, man. Yeah, all right. Hey, enjoy yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> we do it away from you. It's your Miller highlight. They do that. Right, yeah, I know. You're right. You're right. Bible told me so. Hey, so anyway, you know, you, we, that's that's pretty much, you know, brother. Really, at the end of the day, we we out here every week, you know. Lord willing, you know, we, we come out here every week, so just, you just gotta keep listening and studying, man. Hey, somebody, somebody <laughs> give him the site, you know, write down the, the site for him and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Okay. Unless y'all got any, but anybody here? Okay. One thing that I want to read for real okay. quick. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. Though therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. No man can read it. You can read it. Yahweh shall Mashiach. No man that war entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, 
Right, same thing, you know, same thing. Right. That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So there you go. So, you so it's all about pleasing the most high and his son. Instead of pleasing yourself. Instead of pleasing yourself. It's, all, it's funny because uh, one, one of the elders that we learned under, he told me that on, on the phone, you know, this thing.